Good morning. Do you know why today is an extra good day? It is because it's raining, finally. Now, you might be asking yourself why it is that I'm pleased that it's raining. The reason is, when it's really hot outside, it makes doing work in here a little bit more difficult. I quite like the idea of having a little bit of a contrast of hot and cold. So we now got a little bit of cold. And the best thing is, is tonight I'm going to go sailing. I'm going to go up to the coast and have a sail. And sailing's extra fun when it's either really hot and sunny or really cold, wet and windy. And this one's going to be cold, wet and windy. So today, what's on the agenda? Well, all the tools that I forged yesterday, I need to go ahead and grind and handle them. So that's gonna be what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go ahead and put my respirator on and do some grinding. I tell you what, it's a really good job that I keep the back of my truck a complete mess, because it means I had a shirt. It's chilly, this is great. So this is what we're starting with and three drifts that I gotta get. Time to grind. So I now have eight hammer eye punches with finished handles, some flatters with finished handles, and six hock at hardies. However, I'm gonna redo one of the flatters and two of the hock at hardies. I wasn't quite pleased with them. There we go. There's the pile of tools. Whoo! Feel great. So it's now 11.30 in the morning, and I know it's a little early to have lunch. Right, you know, 11.30 most people don't, but I usually like to try and tactically plan my lunch. Now you may ask, what do I mean by tactically plan my lunch? Well, it's as follows. I've just lit the forge, the forge is heating up. I know it's gonna take about half an hour to the forge to be, you know, really pumping and rocking and rolling. And I know that I need to get out of the workshop as soon as possible to get up to the coast in time to get there for the good tide to sail. So what I'm doing is I'm eating now as opposed to after forging, and that, my friend, is tactically planning your lunchtime. You know, I think a lot of good things have to be said about rain. What it, it just makes the workshop feel like a really nice place to be. Now don't get me wrong, I always enjoy it when I'm in the workshop, but on a hot day, the workshop becomes a place of, you know, sweat and exhaustion. And you try and have to escape the, the depths of the workshop there to get into some coolness, to get some fresh air. However, on a day like this, it turns the workshop into a cocoon, and it's wonderful. This really makes it feel like home again, and I like that. However, probably in about two to three weeks' time, as it starts getting colder and colder, you're not gonna hear me saying that I like the rain and the cooler weather. You're gonna hear me saying I hate it, and I wanna go back to summer. I'm just not good with temperature. <laughs> I basically just try and find a way to complain about every single weather scenario there is. What can I say? I'm a complainer about the weather. Time to go up to the coast. Okay, the last clip you saw of me, I was at the workshop. Now, we're here, beautiful, grey, rainy. We got a nice, I don't know, 
22 mile an hour northwesterly wind, which is perfect. So I'm sailing one-handed, so I might eventually have to cut off pretty soon. But we're out on the water. The wind's quite gusty. It's changing pretty much, very regularly. So then my big sail got a furl in it, so it's a little easier. I'm gonna just sail it. It wasn't very pretty, <laughs> but it was a lot of fun! There's no better way to end the day, so thank you. Please hit like, please subscribe. I look forward to seeing you tomorrow. Goodbye!